these are powerful statements for you. Ability is not being able to do what I do in the way I do it. But being able to do what you can do in the way you should. Please write. Ability is not being able to do what I do in the way or in the manner which I do it. But being able to do what you are able or what you are enabled to do in the way you should do it. You can be like me, but you can never be me. Do what you are enabled by God to do. God never produces two people that are exactly the same. But each person is given room to imitate and to copy. It is good to desire my level. But it is so bad to despise your level. It is by embracing your level that God promotes you to my level. If you despise where you are today, tomorrow will not be ushered to you. If you despise where you are today, in other words, be happy with where you are at the moment. Because there's a concept of topping up in the kingdom. When God sees you using what he gave you maximally, he is attracted to top up for you. At every level, there is success. At every level, there is success. You could be in a primary school. Somebody can succeed at that level. Secondary school, there is success. You can have A in primary, A in secondary, A at university. So success is not when you are where I am. It is being able to succeed where you are. If you use your level very well, you attract God's promotion. You can never misuse your current opportunity and expect a fairer opportunity tomorrow. That never works with God. When you have one church member, give him total information like you could give one million. Amen. I have preached to my wife and I could say shout hallelujah and we are two. And when we are a thousand, shout hallelujah. When we are ten thousand, shout hallelujah. God is constant no matter the population. Don't despise your church simply because there is another church that looks attractive. Love it. That's what God gave you. And when you now use it well, it gives you another one. Each level you desire, the desire is not human. It is divine. It is God that puts the desire in you, but he wants you to embrace the concept of time. Your God is not the God of the past. Neither is he so much interested at the present, but the God of the future. He says, how am I going to give you a future that you hope for? Therefore, he will put in you a desire of your destiny more than the desire of where you are. That's why we talk about vision as to do with the future, what is yet to come. But revealed at the present. It is now that God reveals your tomorrow. Tomorrow cannot be revealed tomorrow. It will be revealed today. And God cannot refer today to you today. He will refer you are today, yesterday. Because God believes in tomorrow. Every one of us has a future. <laughs> and I can tell you, if you attended this meeting, your future is great. <clears throat> I wish I could say it better for your excitement, but I'm declaring that tomorrow is greater than yesterday. Hallelujah. 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 I 
believe strongly that where I am, everybody will be. And where they are, I will be. Jesus said, where I am, you also shall be. In other words, I can't go far beyond where you can reach, but I can go ahead of you. I can go ahead of you. It's our savior. But he said, where I am going is a final destination for everyone. Nobody can go beyond where I have gone, but everybody can come to where I have, come, I have gone. Some of you say, I have done well. Apostles say that he has never stood before 5,000 people. I never did also. God gave me the privilege. You sometimes look at big studies and say, ah, if I get an opportunity one day, you will have it. Just prepare. <laughs> <laughs> it is coming. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah. Hello? Yes. Just know it's coming. Hallelujah. 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 